Hi friends, welcome back to Selvin Technologies. In this video tutorial, we'll discuss about an important function called VLOOKUP. Generally, we'll see what is a VLOOKUP, what is the exact definition of VLOOKUP. Looks for a value in the leftmost column of a table and then returns a value in the same row from a column you specify. By default, the table must be sorted in an ascending order. Simply we can say just we are looking for a value in a table based on the column index number. Now we'll see the syntax of the VLOOKUP means what are the arguments or there in the VLOOKUP that is lookup value, table array, column index number and range lookup. See that range lookup we are placing inside the square bracket. Anything if you are placing inside the square bracket, it is called optional. If you are giving that square bracket optional value, it gives exact result, exact output. Otherwise, if you are not giving that a square bracket argument, it gives approximate result. We'll see how it is going to work. See here, some data is there. Generally, if the data is in vertical form, we'll go for VLOOKUP. If it is in horizontal, we'll go for HLOOKUP. See, in the lookup, there are two things, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. If the table array, if the table, the range is in vertical, like column wise, we'll go for VLOOKUP. If it is in horizontal, like row wise, we'll go for HLOOKUP. We'll see. For example, there is a data, control C, copy, then Alt E S E, paste transpose. See here, the data, the table array is in horizontal. So in this kind of situations, uh, we'll go for HLOOKUP. But see, there, there is a data vertically, like a column wise. In this scenario, in this table, we have to use VLOOKUP only. See, there is a data like employee name, job rating, salaries and tax rate. Based on this salaries, we have to find out this tax rate. See the table, table array. First, if the salary is zero, the tax rate is zero. If the salary is 5000, tax rate is 1%. 25000, 5%. 35000, 6%. Like uh, till 95000. 13%. The salaries are exact. Normally, the salaries are like 15,230 or also 40,560. The salaries are not like exact round figures. Then, in that kind of situations, it will count like this. If it is salary is 0 to 5,000, in between 0 to 5,000, we'll get 0% tax. If it is 5 to 25,000, it gets 1% tax. If it is 25 to 35,000, 5% tax. Like, uh, see, there is a salary 60,010. It is there between 55 to 65. Now, the tax rate is 8%. Here, by using VLOOKUP, we'll find out the tax rate for the given salaries. First, any formula starts with is equal, then VLOOKUP, give the tab, we look up bracket open. See, there are arguments, look up value, table array, column index number, and inside the square bracket, we are taking range lookup. First, look up value. For this value, for this 60,010, in this table array, column number. So, we need to column number based on that column. What is the tax rate? Now, we'll find out. First, 60,010, C2, comma, I'm selecting the range that is called table array. Now, comma, column index number. See, we selected two columns. We selected two columns. In that first column is salaries and the second column is tax rate. First column is salaries and the second column is tax rate. Just we have to count the column numbers from here, from where we selected, not from the first. In the table array, this is the first column, this is the second column, don't say H high. So we have to take 1 and 2, I need a tax rate, that's what I'm giving to. That about our range lookup we'll discuss later, in this example that is not mandatory. See, 
for the 60,010 in the range H1 colon I10 for the second column, what is the tax rate? See, we got 0.08. See here, we got the result 0.08, but there are tax rates in the percentages. Then simply we can say percentage, otherwise go to number format, you can select the percentage. Otherwise, you can select here also percentage. Both are same. Now, just double click on this. It will get auto fill. Okay. 68,000 8% we got correct result. 29,480 in between 25 to 35,000 we got 5%. But after some result, some outputs, we got NA that is not available for the value of 16,770. It is saying... For the 16,770, there is no tax rate, but there are values. It's between 5 to 25,000. We'll see what happened. See, there is a range, table array, H1 colon I10. Go to the second cell. It is H2 colon I11. Here, H3 colon I12. In the 16,770, H7 colon I16. That means, for the value 16,770, we are looking in this table array, but the actual value is in between 5 to 25,000, but we are looking here in this range. So that's why just we have to freeze the range. Again, I'm deleting this. We'll do from the starting is equal to we look up, look up value C2 comma table array this complete range then you can press f4 otherwise you can mention the dollar sign if you are pressing f4 automatically we'll get the dollar sign that means freezing the range we'll see what will happen comma 2 because we need second column then bracket close press enter select the cell double click so till the data will get the result see now there is no na because the range is h1 colon i10 go to somewhere else like 16770 still it is h1 colon i10 only because we did phrase for the range so the range is not going to change till the end of the cell same range will get now we got the correct result for every cell by doing phrase for the table array not for the lookup value only for the table array will do the phrase without changing the table array range so like this we'll use vlookup otherwise instead of this like uh, selecting the range and phrasing just we select completely h colon i the complete two columns we are selecting that means it goes to the 10 lakhs 48576 rows so that means end of the row in the both h and i columns now we no need to select the range we no need to freeze the range directly you can say press enter now same just double click see go to any cell say h colon i only from the starting to ending so no need to freeze no need to select the range instead of selecting the range freezing just we are selecting complete columns h and i so this is the way we are using vlookup but in the previous example we didn't use that range lookup argument because in this example there is no requirement to use this range lookup we'll use another example to use the range lookup and we'll see where we have to use the range lookup this is called exact match in the vlookup See, there is another table. There are names and ratings. We need a numerical score. There is a table array. Rate table. Here, ratings and numerical score. Same. For this example also, we'll do. Is equal to we look up. Look up value. For the fair. So, how much fair is? 71. Excellent. 99. Very good. 92. Like fair, 71. Comma. So, this time, just I'm selecting the range phrase. Otherwise, F colon G comma same here also two because we selected two columns in that i required second column the second column is nothing but numerical score then press enter just double click yeah now we got the result but the result is not exact by default it takes approximate values because see two comma see that is range lookup so in the range lookup true and false are there 
if it is true approximate match if it is false exact match if you are not giving anything by default it takes true otherwise one one or true both are same it is called as approximate match means it takes nearest value but whenever you want exact value will go for zero or false zero or false means exact match correct value so i'm giving zero otherwise simply you can say false exact match then press enter now just select it you can say double click so now we got the result exact result for fair 71 satisfactory 78 and a good so 85 yes 85 so we got the exact result by using zero or false so by default we look up text approximate match that is one we'll go for previous example again see in case if i'm giving zero here otherwise false see we got na not available because there is no 60,010 in this table array so if you are giving zero go to that table and it will search for exact value for example if i am not giving this zero it goes to the approximate values what we discussed in the starting so it goes to like 60,010 means 55 to 65 8 percent will get so when i'm giving zero it go to the table and it will pick exact value so based on the requirement if it is text will go for exact match or else if you want exact value will go for exact match then that kind of situations will use zero or else false for exact values so this function this vlookup is there in the formulas tab in the formulas tab function library in the function library lookup and reference there you can find out vlookup so this is a very important and useful functions in our real time scenarios if you wanted to create any kind of reports we'll use vlookups also thank you friends for watching this video and please subscribe our youtube channel share these videos to your friends also